Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Gladiator Guild Manager. You know, I don't know what it is about this game, because at the end of the day, the gameplay loop is very simple. But I do find it really fun and relaxing. So I figured we can do some more. I actually need to pick a trade for at least three different Gladiators here. Yeah, even more. Uh, this guy needs two of them. I might just pick up some of the same that I got here. A definitely Guardian's Veil. Absorb 10% of damage dealt to all friendly gladiators in their team. That's definitely good. Increased movement speed. Push-pull forces are 75% weaker. And they can't be trapped by a net. Yeah, that's also quite useful. I might just pick up the exact same things. And their tank has pretty low movement speed by default. Alright, let's grab that. So, Swift. And then, what was the other one? A Guardian's Veil. Yeah, I'm just going to grab a Guardian's Veil. Right here. Alright, there you go. And then, we got the Archer. I need something here. Probably critically lucky. Well, hold on, no, I can't get that, because that's like uh, tier 1 or whatever. I can get that at level 6. Young Vampire. Killing an enemy restores 25% health. That is actually pretty good. Gain 25% agility bonus, but loses 1% for every 100 gold you have. No, I don't want that. Definitely not. Gains experience faster. Gains agility for each friendly gladiator in range. Gains agility if there's none in range. After two months in the guild, agility is increased by 25% at the start of the battle. Okay. Gains 2% for each enemy kill. Like, permanently. That does sound pretty good, actually. But I like the idea of restoring 25% health after killing an enemy. Still, the primary stat can give you a lot of extra damage. So I might try Serial Killer here. Let's try Serial Killer. And I'm actually going to upgrade it. Yep, okay. Sounds good. And then we have the Executioner, but also the Summoner. Okay, the Afflictor already has something, so that's fine. Let's check what we can get for the Summoner. Anything that will actually help, like with the Summons? Not right away. Yeah, these are all similar here at the start. Health after killing an enemy. Movement speed. Gains experience faster. Gains 50% intelligence and restores 100% uh, faster during Crimson Mist. Okay. Restores 5% health every 2 seconds during rain. Alright. Yeah, not sure about this one. Might just pick up feeling at home here. Intelligence is reduced by 20%, but after each battle they participate in, it increases by 5%. Max bonus 25%. Resets battle participation count when learned. Okay, that's kind of weird. What? Okay, that's kind of weird. Do you mean the bonus can go from a minus 20% to plus 20%? Or the max bonus is 25% after you lose 20%. That's a pretty big difference. Okay, then. Yeah, I definitely don't want anti-capitalist. 20% intelligence bonus when using consumable. What's his movement speed? Okay, really low movement speed. I could just pick up Swift. Alright, let's just pick up Swift, that's fine. And for the Executioner... Let's see. 
yeah, again, these are all basically the same, but for a different stat. Blocking or dodging increases strength. Uh, can he block? He can dodge. Okay, he can block. Right here. Okay, alright, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try that. Alright, let's give it a shot, and we can upgrade it. Alright, let's continue then. See what's next. Okay, paid 200 gold of gladiator wages in one month. Right. That's fine. Bridge. Oh yeah, right. We are supposed to do that. Fine. Another troll to kill. Okay. Oh yeah, wait, this is the championship at the bridge. Okay, right. Well, I'm well prepared, I think. Yeah, I think I'm well prepared for this one. So let's do at least uh, four battles here uh, with the blue reward. That way we can get 100%. I would like to try some of these harder ones. I don't know how that will go. But we could give it a shot. Okay, let's give it a shot. What could possibly go wrong? I do have some consumables. Uh, that is quite a few tanks. We can probably kill the guys in the back with the assassin here. Most likely. So we can do this. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Then, I could use the other guy too. Don't know how efficient that's going to be. But we can give it a shot. He can do the same exact thing. Obviously the tank. Yeah, I think I'll just use the best people I have. So we want the archer. And we want the archer to help uh, with the ranged guys in the back. For obvious reasons. And then one melee guy. Ready here. I could even go for a second tank. I'm not sure how well that's going to work though. It might not work too well. Invigorator. Or second archer. I'm a little bit worried my tank will like die eventually. Let's try the second tank. See how that works out. Do we give them some potions? That's experience, some agility. Uh, these aren't actually like tremendously helpful. Let's just go like this see how this works out. It should be fine as long as we kill these higher level guys in the back. Which we are about to. Okay. Yeah, we're good, I think. Did somebody die? I didn't quite catch it. No, nobody died. We even leveled up. Okay. So now we have 25% for the, like the highest tier reward. 25% chance. Okay. Well, let's get some strength, some health, some stamina. Okay, strength and health again. Alright, that's level 7. Nobody else leveled up right now. Next. Level 19 assassin. Okay, so he would basically kill someone. More or less guaranteed. Because he would start in stealth. Uh, let's just do this one. I don't really want to throw somebody away this early into the tournament. Okay, well, we will take care of the animator. Same method as usual. I might go with two tanks again. These guys are just so useful. Archer. And, yeah, probably the clobberer here. Wait, do they cleave? I think they cleave, right? Hits one enemy. Punch. Okay, no, these guys do not cleave. These are all a single target. Okay, okay. So we can have... Here, the clobber. Alright, let's see how this works out. One more guy. Let's actually have the dark mage. 
that's instant kill when they drop below 30%. Wait, where is he? Oh, I would have to revive him. Uh, that's not really worth it, just grab the archer then. So this one should be pretty easy. Yeah, that guy in the back will die really quickly to our assassin. The only downside of the mana assassin is that it's a pretty squishy class. Level eight and level eight, very nice. This requires level 12, that's fine. So, okay, for the tank, I don't think he really needs more stamina. The stamina cost here is pretty low, and we got 700 now. Then again, this only has one second cooldown. This has five, but I think it's fine. Maybe I can get a tiny little bit more, but then mostly health. Maybe a little bit of strength, but mostly health. Okay, health. That is a lot of health. But that's his job, to be as tanky as possible. Okay, the archer. 69 agility. Nice. Um, yeah, Alright, I'm going to ruin it. Make it 71. I definitely don't need more stamina here. I think I'll just increase agility for the most part. Yeah, let's just get more agility here. Does their job to do damage. And we can do the next fight. Okay, this one looks fine. I do want higher chance here. It's maybe a little bit risky, but I wanted to try these tougher fights. Okay, so uh, the assassin is about to level up. He's almost level 8. Alright, this is what we're doing. Ranged before support. Okay tank. Maybe one will be enough this time. We can have up to seven. Okay, let's have two tanks. They're just so good. And this guy is pretty close to leveling up as well. And... Okay, then what? I could use another assassin, but I'm not totally convinced about that part. Alright, let's do that. Probably on this side. Yeah, on this side. We can still have two more people. This guy. And then maybe the purifier. Okay, let's use the purifier. Alright, go. Okay, we're getting it. And I wanted to get a shaman myself. Because this looks like a pretty damn useful class. We should be able to get one soon. Alright, there we go, we won. And, uh, okay, one person died, but that's okay. She leveled up, so... It's all good. Alright, let's get some stamina here. That's 68 cost. Maybe even twice. A little bit of intelligence, because that's their primary stat. Maybe some health. And actually more intelligence. Alright. Next up, the tank leveled up, so health, some stamina, some movement, and more health. That's mostly what I care about on the tank. Uh, mostly intelligence for this guy, because that will scale up Shadow Strike a lot. And that's the number one thing I care about. Shadow Strike. Uh, some stamina. A little bit of health is fine, but they are pretty damn squishy. Regardless of how many points I spend on health. There you go. Anyone else? Yes, this guy. Level 8. Alright, 100 intelligence. Movement looks fine. Do we really need stamina here? Well, if he manages to stay alive... Maybe a bit. We can help him stay alive. Some agility, maybe. For the block. Alright. We're good. Okay, I want to bump my chance here. It's 50% now. Getting it to 100 would be best. Spearman. Okay. Pushes the enemy away. Blocks a melee attack. Hits an enemy. Gains additional 10% of his highest priority stat for each alive ally. Okay, so their thing is mostly that they damage and push 
the enemy back. I think we can do this. I do have 16 mana crystals, so worst case scenario I can revive someone. Let's see. I think I'll still grab both of the tanks. Yeah, they're just too good. And we could get the assassins to attack the spearmen. Well, at least one of them. I think that might be better in this situation, so let's do that. And then we can grab the archer. The archer will still target the support. Maybe the second archer. <laughs> well, okay, I do want to make use of some of these necromancer type people. So, on, on the other hand, I don't want to risk losing this fight. Yeah, no, I don't want to risk losing this fight. Let's just go with our best people here. And the other archer. Alright, let's see how this works out. Should be fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got this. I don't think anyone died. No, we're good. The purifier was already dead earlier. So that's... A 4 out of 7. We need one more here to get 100%. This looks easy enough. Okay, that actually looks easy enough. Pretty sure we'll do that no problem whatsoever. The drummers are really carrying these fights. They are so friggin' good. Alright, assassins. Hey, whoops. And this time... Yeah, we want to target ranged. With you. Same with the archer. Okay, that's that. Oh, that's 5 out of 5 now. Alright, that's fine. Let's go. Oh, they didn't actually go. Okay. It's still a priority system. They don't always follow it. Maybe I should have moved the other slider to zero. Okay, we still won, but one of the assassins got killed. Not an ideal outcome here, but we still won. We still won. And now we'll have 100% chance to get this reward here. So now I can do easier fights. Even this one. But I kind of want this one. I think it's still going to be alright. Okay, both tanks are fine. But my other options are kind of limited. Okay, let's just change it to this one. Yeah, we'll change it to this one. And then we can make use of our necro-type people. Just have all three of them here. I'll keep their priorities on default. Alright, let's go. Because they synergize with each other. Meaning it's best if they are all in the same group together. They get bonuses against cursed enemies. Alright. The summoner is really squishy. He almost died right there. Yeah, he almost died. He has a sliver of health left. Okay. We are at 6 out of 7. Did anyone level up? No, not yet. Alright, let's just do this one again. That's fine. Level 12, shaman. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Alright, the both tanks. I might just keep using both tanks in any fight that can have like four or more or five or more. They are just so good, man. Alright, I think we want to go after the shaman. So let's actually just do this. Yeah. I want to go after the shaman. So support. Alright. We can have three more people. So the necro people. I do want some experience on them, so might as well. Alright, let's go. Just want to kill the shaman quickly. Why are you moving in? Okay, that was a bit of a weird move, but alright. He didn't die. You guys done? There, done. Looking good. Let's see, and now we can take the rewards. And we leveled up. Alright, let's check this one. Arrowhead of Frost. Projectile attacks freeze enemies, preventing them from moving for the next 3 seconds. That sounds extremely good on the archers. 3 seconds is a lot. 
That is really good. I like that a lot. Alright, we didn't get the item unfortunately, and we didn't get one here. But that was worth it, this is really good. Treasure chamber door. Well, we've done that before. I guess we'll do it again. Hey, well, okay, maybe I should have waited. Because I'm missing some of my best people. I think maybe I should have waited. Yeah. Uh, a bit too late now. But we do have 34 mana crystals. Uh, let's just revive these two people. Because I can only use three. So I kind of need my top damage dealers here. Okay, let's bump the agility here. Maybe even more than this. Some stamina. Okay. I don't think Arrowhead of Frost will do a whole lot in this situation. No, probably not. We can use the potion. Right here. Okay, let's use the agility potion. Might as well. And that's kind of it, really. We do still have this Ring of Frost. We can get a nice synergy combined with the Arrowhead of Frost. Just not here. Can you even freeze a temple door? <laughs> That's a good question. That would be a little bit weird if you could. I mean, it's a friggin' door. But hey, I guess we can try, right? Yeah. I suppose we can try. Can I have both? Yeah, I can have both on one person. Sure, yeah, we can have both. Sounds good. Maybe it will work, who knows? Maybe it will work. Yeah, we can freeze the door. So that will work. And we got this. Yep, we got this, easy. Damage dealt. Yep, yeah, way more on the level 6. And the DPS. Okay. Great job! I'll send the workers in. So let's see now. I might grab the stone. What about these? Okay, I like the gloves. Let's actually take the gloves. And then I'll take the mana crystals. Well, okay, it's kind of a tough one. Let's take the stone. Alright, who's going to use the gloves? Maybe like this fella. Strength is his primary stat, but the, the health will also be nice. Okay, so we can increase some uh, strength. He needs way more stamina. 56 cost and his base stamina was really, really low. And some movement. Okay. Then the summoner. Okay, some intelligence. Uh, more health because he's so damn squishy. Yeah, he's so squishy. Let's give him more health. 270 stamina. Okay, more stamina as well. All right. Some of my fighters. Yeah, I don't think I want more of these guys right now. I'm good, thanks. What I really want is ooh, hunter cabin. All right. That's new. Ranged and crowd control. Yeah, what I really want is a shaman. We unlocked it. I just need him to show up. Let's update the shop. I don't see a shaman in here right now. Nope. Alright, give me a shaman. What's this? A cleric. I don't think you can unlock that yet. Requires cleric fort. I don't think that's available yet. No, actually, yes, it is. Okay, I could get that if I want to. Support, tank, healer, AoE. Wait, what? That's a lot of roles rolled into one class. Tanky support that can heal allies with an AoE ability around him. Also has a melee attack and a shield block. Okay, what the heck? I'm going to grab this guy. That sounds pretty useful. Yep, okay, that sounds pretty useful. And we have a discount and he's already level 8. So, heck yeah. There you go. There's the shaman. Level 9 shaman, 800 gold. Yeah, okay, works for me. Works for me. 
Uh, this is fine, I guess. Okay, let's get this guy. Done. Let's check their abilities really quick. So, hits the enemy, dealing damage. Okay, strength based. While Shaman has rain or heavy wind, weather buffs deals 300% higher damage. Block. Healing totem. Places a totem on the ground that heals friendly gladiators. Every 10 intelligence points gives the totem one level. During rain or heavy wind mist weather buffs, totems heal 60% stronger. Puts a totem on the ground that shoots fireballs. Every 10 intelligence points gives the totem one level. Alright. I should probably replace this. Well, no, the summon probably works with totems, I would assume. I would assume summoning a totem also works. Maybe. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Logic says that it should. Uh, let's check the cleric. So, melee attack. Divine heal circle. Casts a heal to friendly gladiators around him in the area of 2.92, restoring 336 health. Unable to use on himself. And block. Alright. Can be set on fire. And we can pick up something over here. 10% of damage dealt to only friendly... No. Each time the gladiator deals damage... No. Anything that would help with heals? No, not that. No. No. And no. Casting a buff... No. I'm not impressed with any of these right now. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I could actually get a fitness addict. What are the stamina costs? 60 stamina cost. That doesn't seem super high, but 3.6 turn cooldown. So maybe I should get that. Stamina is the resource used for pretty much every single ability. Okay, maybe. What else? Max health increased, but movement decreased. Well, I could get that, but he will be really, really slow if I get that. Maybe not the best idea ever. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really impressed with any of these right now. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm really not. Gains 10% intelligence for each friendly beast on the team. Other gladiators in battle gain more experience. Hey, maybe I'll get this. Okay, maybe I'll actually just get that. I don't have this on anyone. Alright, let's get Instructor. Why not? There you go. I will probably use him. We'll see how this is going to work combined with the tanks. Anything else? I think we're good now. Alright, let's check the item market. But I don't want to spend too much. We can grab the necklace. 8 intelligence. Okay, this is also 8 intelligence, but it's cheaper. But I can get both. Yeah, let's actually get both. Who needs stamina more? Well, neither of them really seems to need it that much. Maybe somebody else. 45. Yeah. Well, this is 0 0.82 cooldown and 32 stamina cost. Then there's the healing totem. Okay, the totems actually have pretty high stamina cost. So you can get that. And the cleric will get the other necklace. Alright, let's continue. And fight something. Psst. Deal with Hello. temple workers. You should tell the Sure. Uh, we can do that. Plotting with peasants. Yeah, we made a deal with them. That's fine. Arena? 
Uh, one more. Few versus one. All right. A level 36 crossbowman. Okay. Well, let's use the assassin here. And the other assassin. Nope, he's not available at the moment. Probably an archer. One tank. And then what? Yeah, I kind of want to just kill him quickly. Let's just try to focus on damage dealers here. Okay, this is working. Is it? Okay, we killed him. Both our archers got killed, but we killed him. Pretty big difference in DPS. So, we got the minor experience potion. Alright. Not the most impressive item ever, but we also got a level up. Let's get some movement here. Maybe some stamina and the rest just in health, to be honest. That's his job, damn it, to be the tank. Gladiator Market. I still have one slot left. I could grab another shaman if I want to. Maybe. Let's maybe wait for a discount because this is 540 gold. Well, that is a lot of gold. We can do this. Oh yeah, right, we can hire someone, potentially. Do I want to do that? Brigand. Marauder. Okay. Yeah, do I really want that? I don't think so. I think I'm good. No, I'm good, thanks. Pass. Let's carry on. Looks like Iron Town will be the next championship. Workers deal gold. Alright. We got some money. Gladiator Market. Okay, I think I'll pass on all that for now. I'll pass for now. Item Market. Deals 50% higher damage, but also receives 50% higher damage. Well, this will be potentially really nice to turn the Mana Assassin into a complete glass cannon for that initial attack from stealth, because that already does a lot of damage. Getting 50% higher would be insane, and receiving 50% more doesn't matter until that attack happens, because you start in stealth. But it basically turns him into a glass cannon. And this is also over 800 gold. Yeah, I'll take the ring for intelligence. I have a lot of people who use intelligence. Strength and agility. Yeah, I think I want that. I think I want that, yeah. Alright. So, let's see now. Let's give the ring to the shaman. As for the sword... Well, probably the Executioner, instead of this sword here. Okay. Do we have some space on a strength character? I should actually hire, like, another strength character. <laughs> because I don't have that many, and the two of them are tanks, so, you know. Alright, Arena. I need to reroll. Let's see, one versus many, blind fight. Uh, let's do the blind fight. Seven. Could be interesting. Alright, the both tanks. Cleric. Like so. Then, definitely assassin, at least one. The archer. I could use both archers. I can also swap- oh no, they are still dead, never mind. Okay, that's fine. And the Clobberer, he's pretty close to level 8 now. The Shaman, obviously. And one more person. I could still grab the Dark Mage. That's an option. Maybe the Summoner. Let's have the Dark Mage. That doesn't look too bad, but that Dark Mage is a bit of a concern. Because of his ability. So he's considered... Uh, ranged, obviously. And these guys are considered support. 
So he's the only ranged in this group. Let's try to kill him first. Okay, let's actually try to kill him first. Yep. Okay. Let's go. See how this works out. Yeah, they have this stuff. Okay. We got him. Nice. Our assassin did his job. He assassinated the mage. Okay, that totem is doing its job. And the shaman went down. We're still gonna win this, right? Yes. We lost the shaman, but that's okay. It's okay. Still a good outcome. Alright. We got Scroll of Groundedness. I was hoping for something better, but alright, we got a level 8. Same as usual. There you go. Anyone else? No. Actually, yes. So, let's get some strength here. Maybe two in strength, one in stamina, one in movement, one in health. And carry on. Let's see what's next. An important associate. Stopping bridge assassination. Nine max gladiators. Okay, that sounds fun. That's a pretty big group. Let's see now. I don't have 33 mana crystals. I'm gonna bring the shaman back. Yeah, let's get the shaman back. So, two tanks. Cleric. And then we need some damage dealers. This might not be enough damage dealers, but it's a really tanky team. And let's grab the assassin. So, we'll kill one of the archers here. I can just do this. Yeah, I guess I can just do this. Or I can just set all ranged to high. Okay, that's fine. And we can have one more person. Let's actually grab, yeah, the Dark Mage here. Alright, go. The Dark Mage was doing pretty good damage. Partially because of his special ability. But he is pretty good as long as he doesn't die. Or she, whatever. I think we got this. Yep, did anyone even die? I don't think so. No, nobody died. Nice. Excellent. The bridge should be so, let's see. Uh, these are promising. Plus 15 intelligence, plus 400 health. Yeah, I'm getting that. And we probably want some iron. Okay, and I might use that on the shaman. Yep, let's use that on the shaman. And level 9. Nice. Alright, let's get some intelligence here. A little bit of health. I could get some agility because that does help block and dodge. So yeah, let's actually get that. And it does help with the damage a bit. With, like, his primary ability. Okay. Carry on. Arena again. Uh, one versus few. Let's do that. Okay, that looks easy enough. I think we can use... Well, maybe the cleric? Although he can't heal himself. I'm not sure if a level 5 executioner will be good enough for this. I don't like these two mana assassins. They are low level, but they can still do a fair bit of damage. I could use the tank, but I don't know if he's going to do enough damage. Okay, what the heck, let's use the tank. I might just have to speed things up. But I think he can handle this. Okay, I hope that was not a mistake. I can see his health. Yeah, no, we got this. It just took some time, but we got this. Alright. And we got our boy helping us, obviously. 
Seed of Brilliance. Increases intelligence by 30 points. Okay, that is a consumable, but that's a pretty damn good one right there. That is a pretty damn good one. My lord, Bridge Assassination. Gun, the person you cleared the way Difficulty for, 9. Six major. Max Gladiators. Gather some goods for you. So okay, let's do it. Almost everyone is available. Okay, so six gladiators. Maybe one tank and the, the cleric will be enough this time. I think that will be enough. Then, obviously, the assassin. Focus on ranged. Maybe both the assassins. Okay, let's use both the assassins. Like this. And that's two more, the shaman. Here you go. And possibly the dark mage again. Or the archer. This is the archer with the freeze item. Now I can move it to my other archer. But I would be missing out on agility. Also, the other archer is almost level 9, so let's use her. Alright, that should be fine. Yeah, but they will die pretty quickly here. Got them. That was fast. Yep. That was pretty fast. The cleric died though. And the shaman also died. But we got it. Justice has been Choose the reward. We can't take stone because it's not available. I will actually take some mana crystals. Alright, mana crystals. Neutral, friendly, esteemed, alright? Carry on then. Uh, we leveled up. So we'll take some agility. I don't think I need stamina that much. Well, the cooldown is super low here, so let's actually get some stamina. Okay. Gladiator market refreshed. I don't think I want any of these right now. Can we build something? Obviously we can. Let's see. Droid home. Support healer crowd control. Heal enemies over time. Heal allies over time and root enemies to the ground. Okay, could be useful. Pyromancer. Alright. Sounds useful as well. Maybe I'll try the Pyromancer. Ranged AoE. 25 iron, 35 stone. We could try that. Able to upgrade universal items. Okay, I should get this, actually. I just need more wood. Yeah, let's build that. I probably should have done that earlier. But better late than never. So how do we use that now? Only universal items can be upgraded. Right, which are like these. Okay, 30 wood. We have a few. This is also a universal item. So I need wood. I could buy it, but let's just wait to get some wood from a quest. Does anyone else have a universal item? I think that's the two that we have right now. Oh yeah, these are also universal items. Yeah, they all require wood. We have a total of four right now. Okay. Alright, that's fine. So we need to prioritize wood. Got it. One versus many. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, okay, that is indeed a lot. But I think I might just use the tank again. Yeah, maybe. It's kind of tempting. I don't know. He can probably handle this. So I don't know if I want to risk using somebody else. Somebody squishy. I think he can handle this. Alright, he can handle this. It's gonna be fine. Whoops. And he has uh, the dog. Alright, let's go. He's gonna be fine. 
Right? I can barely see. Okay, he might actually not be fine. Okay, he was not fine. This was too many. I needed somebody with higher DPS, I guess. It's fine, it happens. We'll do it next time. Buddy, I need somebody with higher DPS. Yeah, probably the Clobberer. Now that he's back. Item market. Okay, this is a universal item. I should probably buy this. Alright, let's buy this. I might not use it at all times, but I'm going to buy it. I will probably only use it in some fights. Depends what fight it is exactly. It's kind of situational, I feel. Okay, championship available. I probably want to bring my tank back. Yeah, I do. And probably the shaman as well. Yep. We can do without the cleric. I am not skipping it. So, let's see. Eight rounds. Let's go. So we can try for the top rewards again. I want to do this at least like once or twice, but preferably four times to get 100%. Yeah. Warlock. Alright, let's give it a shot. This one doesn't look too bad. So yeah, this guy is ranged. Well, summoner intelligence. Okay. So, wait. I guess I can just do this. Because I really want to kill him ASAP. Okay, let's do this then. Come on. Okay, it's kind of hard to like hit that bar. Yeah, see? I can't really do it here. If I click now, I will click on this other orc. I literally can't click on this. <laughs> okay, that's a bit problematic. I literally can't click on this to move that bar. I literally can't do it. <laughs> Alright, it should work now. Hopefully it will. Archer. So, kill these guys. They should go down really, really quickly. Obviously the tank, maybe even two tanks. We can have up to six people, which is not that much. Uh, let's have the clobberer here. And uh, one more. And the dark mage. Alright, let's see how this works out. How far can we zoom out? Oh wow, okay, pretty damn far. Okay, we got this. Did anyone die? Uh, yes, okay, the assassin died. I'm gonna bring him back. But nobody else did. And we leveled up. So, let's get some intelligence. Uh, stamina, because there's really high stamina cost here. There. Okay. Next. This looks reasonable here. Let's do that. To build up that reward. So this time I'll use both of the tanks. And the shaman. Assassin. Over here. Okay. Try to kill the archers quickly. Our own archer. We can use both archers, actually. Let's do that. And... One more. Yeah, this fella. Alright, let's go. This should actually be a pretty easy one. Okay, but our uh, orc guy got killed pretty easily. But we'll win otherwise. Yep, we won otherwise. So that's going to be 50% now. Okay, the archer also died, and the mana assassin died, but worth it. If I die two more times, we'll get 100. I don't think I want to do this fight, because that's five assassins. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Let's do the easy one now. So this should be really easy, actually. 
I will grab the tank here, the shaman, archer. In fact, hold on. Uh, let's do this. I don't like these warlocks though. Yeah, okay, hold on. I don't like these warlocks at all. Maybe this is not a good idea after all. We'll use the archer. Try to kill them ASAP. Wait, what's this? A hunter, okay. A good to know. We can maybe kill that hunter. Like so. Okay, let's try that. That's four out of five. Second tank? Maybe. Okay, what the heck? Let's use the second tank. Do I want to use the necklace? Probably not in this fight. No, not in this fight. There are too many enemies here. And I don't want to receive 50% more damage after the initial attack. I don't think I really want any consumables right now either. No, we're good. Alright, let's go. One down. Another one down. Okay, we got this. Uh, nobody died, I don't think so. Uh, these guys were dead already, right? Okay, next. Three out of eight. Okay, we could do this now. Level 16 purifier. A droid. So the droid has a root. Okay, let's do this one. I'll grab two tanks. Shaman. And then we probably want mostly ranged. Okay, yeah, like this. I might actually bring somebody back. And by somebody I mean... Uh, the archer with freeze. Not that I can't move the items, but I want to bother the archers here. And also, she leveled up. Okay, agility. Stamina. A little bit of health. Some movement. Oh yeah, and we need to pick up uh, that critical damage thing. Where was it? It was somewhere in here. Uh, right here. Critically lucky. Yep, definitely. I want that. There you go. Okay. I think we can go. Let's go. Uh, I could maybe use a potion on someone. Uh, let's give this guy the health potion. The dark mage is really squishy. But that's it otherwise. Yeah. The Dark Mage is already on fire. And she died. That's okay, we'll win. Level 10, very nice. Two more levels and we can get the third ability here. Trait, whatever. Well, you know what this is gonna be. Mostly health. And a little bit of movement is fine. Same with the other guy. There you go. Next. We are at 75% now. Okay, this also looks like a pretty easy fight. We'll be fine here. And we can use 8 people. Alright, Shaman for sure. Archer, both archers. Okay. Second tank. Oh, whoops, I was gonna use two tanks and I use Purifier instead. Uh, that's five out of eight. I might have to bring somebody back. But perhaps it won't be necessary. Let's grab the Purifier ourselves. Okay, maybe we'll be fine. Or I can use the Necromancer Trio. Okay, let's go with the Necromancer Trio. There. Experience gained, movement. 
This dude is really slow, the executioner. I'm actually going to give him the carrot. Alright, let's go. We should win this one, no problem, I think. Yeah, no problem. Yep, got it. So that should be 100. Okay, one tank actually died. But hey, he did his job, alright? Now we have 100. So I could just do the easy ones. Yeah, I could. This is the important part. Yeah, let's just do the easier ones. Maybe get more experience for the rest of our roster, you know? I don't want to level up the Necromancer trio here. So we can grab them. And for the last one... Yeah, the support guy. Invigorator. A buff that increases the main stat. Restores stamina. So he doesn't heal, but he restores stamina and gives a buff to primary stat. Or I can just use the archer. Uh, that's the freeze archer. Alright, let's go with that. That freeze is pretty nice. Three seconds is a lot in a game like this. There we go. Six out of eight. And level 10 archer, nice. Alright, agility. I think our stamina is gonna be fine. Well, okay, this is a really low cooldown, so let's get some stamina. A bit of health, but mostly maximize agility. The Order Archer. Here. Alright. Might as well just get 100% for the easy reward. So that it will be guaranteed. Yep, sounds good. Okay. We can use 8 in this one. Oh yeah, one more level up. Right, let's get some intelligence. Stamina doesn't look as needed, but a little bit. The afflictor is really squishy. That's actually kind of crazy. And the summoner. Right, the other archer. And we need to kill the spiromancer, actually. Yeah, that Pyromancer needs to die, like ASAP, preferably. That would be nice. That would be really nice. And there's another one over here. Yeah, I can't move this bar. Okay, yeah, I can. It's just a bit tricky. Because you can't be hovering over the other unit. There, okay, that's good. We can use two more people. Uh, let's go with the assassin. I don't like their assassins too much. Yeah, I don't like that part. That might be problematic. Alright, let's go. Hopefully that will work. Yeah, some people will definitely die. The archer is about to die. Oh, maybe not. She barely survived. With like a tiny little bit of health left. I will probably have to revive somebody here. But it's okay, we have 35 mana crystals. Let's just do the easy fights. This one should be easier because we only need 5. And I can field 5 decent people. <laughs> can I though? <laughs> yeah, okay, can I though? I actually literally cannot. Uh, let's bring back the shaman. He's also level 10 now. Alright, intelligence, he definitely needs stamina. And some movement. Alright, let's go. I really like the shaman. Alright, we got it. So, one more fight. We're at uh, 7 out of 8, right? No, we're done. Okay, we're done. So, this was a granted reward. Universal item. Gladiator gains 40% strength. But loses 50% movement speed. Interesting. Ring of Mana. Increases intelligence by 30 points. Nice. Oh, that is really nice. I can definitely use that. In fact, I might use this for the Shaman. But I could also use it for the Mana Assassin. 
I think I prefer the shaman, yeah, because this will improve the totems. Yeah, definitely the shaman. Absolutely, shaman. As for the anchor, what's the movement of the clobberer guy? Okay, it's not terrible. For a melee, it's actually not terrible. I might give him the anchor. Let's give him the anchor. And the health will go to somebody super squishy. I know just the right person. Okay. However, we are at exactly one hour now. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.